Hey everybody, it's me, Nicole Rivera from the Stop Writing Alone podcast and here on the MV Rivera YouTube channel sharing writing prompts and writing exercises all year round so you and I can write, I can write 52 short stories in 52 weeks. I'm trying to catch up, trying to catch up all week, but today is Friday. Today is the day that I do come to you every single week to share writing prompts on the regular. Um, but I've been here all week just trying to play catch up and yesterday I shared prompt the, uh, based on a deck of cards because I said I've been feeling very like cardy this week and uh, after I did that YouTube video last night I was putting all my cards away and I went into my board game closet in the house which is not in my office it's out here in, in uh, my living room dining room area so that's why I changed venues because I went back to the board game closet last night or this morning when I remembered that last year I'm not sure if it was last year or 2020 but there was one year here on the channel where I did all of February was using games for writing prompts. So I went back into my closet and pulled out some games, mostly card games, but there's one that I wanna share with you today for our writing prompt that's a fun, silly little game. It's called Fun Employed. It says that it started on Kickstarter, but I'm pretty sure my husband and I picked this up at like Walgreens or something. And it is a really fun game to play with a group of friends or family, a good like party game, because the whole premise is that there's like these two different types of cards. And one, the black cards are qualifications that someone might have um, for, you know, employment or just for being themselves. And then the uh, teal cards are actual jobs that someone is trying to um to get so the idea is that you are an employee somebody in your group is the employer and then all the other players are trying to get this job with the weird qualifications i should note that they are odd qualifications so that's how you do the game right i mean that wasn't a very good explanation but that's the gist what i would like to do is take this stuff all together and make ourselves um, a character for you to write a story about. And it will be up to you if you want to do, as the game does, uh, write a story about the job interview that this person is, is uh, in the middle of, or if you wanna actually give the person the job and write a story about a day in the life of this person. So first let me give you, I, I dealt out four qualification cards so let's get our quirky qualifications um this person this character that we will be writing about has a god complex that's number one in the game you are to build a resume and these are the things you put on your resume like this person would write on their resume god complex <laughs> um this person can or owns a plow they can plow a God complex, they have a plow, maybe that'll be helpful for the job that we pick. Um, <laughs> they're also a hipster, in case that is helpful in any way. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to read this one. I don't know if this means our person is a red panda or owns a red panda, but that's one of their qualifications, red panda. So we have a God complex, a plow, a hipster, a red panda, and the job that this is all going to feed into is <laughs> motivational speaker. <laughs> so if you want, you can maybe even write the speech <laughs> that this character will tell us, um, this God complex person who can plow or owns a plow that's a hipster and either is part red panda or has a red panda you can write the speech you can do a day in the life of this motivational speaker um, or you can write the story of the interview or i guess it wouldn't be really an interview to be a speaker maybe their pitch on you know trying to get a gig for speaking motivationally that's your prompt for today.
the motivational speaker, fun employed, uh, inspired story, whichever way you choose. Just to review again, we have our character has a God complex, has or can plow, they're a hipster, something's going on with a red panda. That's some sort of qualification. Motivational speaker. Good luck. Happy writing. If you want to see uh, the arrangement that I picked while I was playing around with these cards um, before I, I started recording, that was a funny combination as well. Um, I shared that over at the Stop Writing Alone Network and Stop Writing Alone um, in Mighty Networks. The link is always in the little doobly-doo for you to join the network there. Um, but I just also want to remind you, today is the last day of the free week of Happy Campers. And today we're doing a writing prompt party. So if you want to do another prompt uh, and write with us today, it's at 1 p.m. I was going to say Central. Why would I say that? 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, and the link is over in uh, Substack. The Stop Writing Alone Substack that hopefully you are subscribed to by now. And by the way, are you subscribed to this channel? I'm so close to 250 subscribers and my birthday's next week and I would love to make it to at least 250. So if you are subscribed, thank you very much. If you are uh, not, please do so. Extra gift for me. Or um, if you know anybody that might uh, subscribe, share. That's it. That's all I got. Okay. Have a wonderful weekend. Although I'm probably going to be back because I'm still a little bit behind. Um, but happy writing. Enjoy this one. Fun employed. Funny. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I am amazed with writers because I will think that this is going to be a funny story, but someone will make this really scary or something. Let me know. Which genre did you lean into with this motivational speaker? Now I'm curious. Somebody's going to make it really creepy or something. Okay. I got to shut up. I had too much coffee. Bye. Happy writing.